Hey folks, Soft Plastics 101 this week, an iconic Australian species, the mangrove jack. So the last couple of weeks we've looked at the brim soft plastics pack and also then a flathead soft plastics pack. Today we're going to look at a soft plastic setup to get you into a few mangrove jack. So the northern guys are lucky enough to be able to catch them pretty much all year round, but when that weather starts to warm and it gets a bit muggy, us southerners get a bit bit fired up, ready to chase a few jacks. Southeast Queensland, northern New South Wales, right down the coast, you can pretty much find a jack these days. So let's have a look at a few plastics that will get the bite and a few jig heads and how we rig them. So firstly, three inch minnows is one of our go-to for jacks. So paddle tails are extremely popular. You'll find some guys will fish a jerk shad, some guys will fish a curl tail, but Predominantly, if you talk to people about mangrove jack fishing, they're throwing a paddle tail plastic. And that's because the mangrove jack's an ambush predator, hides in the snags, smashes bait fish net that come near the, the snag to feed or to find shelter. So that paddle tail profile is our best representation of a bait fish that the mangrove jack feed on, be it a, a whiting, a mullet, whatever may be in your region that the jack are feeding on. So our three inch minnows is a great starting point. It's a bite sized bait fish plastic that a mangrove jack will eat from a jack this big to the biggest jack you'll, you'll get in the water out there. We'll eat that three inch minnows. Four inch diesel minnows is another good paddle tail plastic for chasing mangrove jack. And then the other that is renowned as a mangrove jack plastic, super, super popular as a mangrove jack plastic is that four inch swimmers. So you can see they're a little bit different in the actual tail on these plastics. So that smaller diesel minnows shape of tail lends itself generally to lighter heads with the slower retrieve or faster retrieve with that smaller tail. If you really, really want to slow it down and it's a real tough bite, that swimmers allows you with its big flat tail, allows you to do a slower retrieve or to even put a bigger, bigger head on and still swim it shallower with a slow retrieve. So paddle tail plastics, definitely the go-to for mangrove jack. Three inch minnows, four inch diesel minnows are a four inch swimmers and you're giving yourself a great chance of catching a jack, but also popular for flatties, mulloway, and other species as well. So you'll get plenty of other, other fish while you're out there, but by upsizing to those sorts of size, you get the brim and other pickers out of the way that allow you to focus on that mangrove jack and those larger species. In terms of color, color's an important thing to consider when you're fishing for a jack. So you'll see the Gold Coast guys a lot of the time down there, the water's quite clear. Uh, so if you're fishing those clearer water, brighter days, a pearl or an opening night is an extremely popular option. And then if the, you get some rain or you're fishing an area where the water gets dirtier, then you want to look at those darker, more silhouette colours. So a new penny or a gold rush that gives you that better, better silhouette in the water. And then also don't discount your fluoros. There's a Jack Guru that I know and one of his favourites is electric chicken. So don't discount that fluoro if you're not getting, not getting hits, not getting bites on those, on those other colours. So there we go, three inch minnows, four inch diesel minnows, four inch swimmers. Scent wise, I always scent up my plastics, especially if the bite's tough or you really, really wanna give yourself the best chance of catching those big fish. Again, we're fishing with paddle tail plastics, so we're gonna look at, at scents that sort of match that bait fish. So a mullet or a bloody tuna or a sardine pilchard is a good starting place in, in terms of your procure scent. Okay, we've got our pluckies. We're gonna rig them to catch a fish. So North Queensland, a lot of their jacks that they fish are up on the mangrove edges. They're on the shallow flats on the, the higher tides and even a single stick, if you see a stick sticking out of the water is worth a cast for a jack. We've had some awesome sessions at Hinchinbrook on the flats where you're fishing around, find those just standalone snags on the flats, work them and you'll get some nice jacks. Uh, down south here, generally we fish a bit heavier but it, but it does depend on, on the area that you're fishing. So we'll have a look anyway. One eighth ounce up north is extremely popular where they're fishing those drains, mangrove drains, mangrove edges, and those standalone snags out on the flats. We could then step to a quarter ounce if we need a bit more weight for casting or we want to get down a bit further. And then when you get down south, southeast Queensland, a lot of the guys are fishing deeper snags. So they're fishing rock bars, they're fishing fallen timber in deeper holes and deeper water, and that's where the jacks hold a lot down here. In that situation, you're probably gonna to go to a 3 8 ounce head, or you're gonna to go to a half ounce head. In that 3 0 in a fish of uh, three inch minnows pretty well, and we generally stick with the Headlocks HD jig head, so it'll have, have a H or an extra XH on the pack, and that means it's an extra heavy 
mustard black nickel chemically sharpened mustard hook on there. So 3.0 and a 3 inch minnows. And then when I step up to the 4 inch plackies, I generally step up to a, a 4 0 jig head. So 4 0 in the 4 inch paddle tails and a 3 0 in the 3 inch paddle tails is a good starting point. So we mentioned generally if you're fishing up higher in the water or you're fishing shallower water, you'll fish a lighter head, deeper water, you'll fish a heavier head. Not always the case. And that comes into play on the Gold Coast where a lot of the guys fish the pontoons. So you'll see the guys fishing the mangrove jack around the pontoons. Basically they parallel the pontoon, can make their cast in and they work that plastic in six inches to a foot just below the edge of the pontoon and they'll buzz their way along those pontoons working all the edges of the pontoons. And you'll see those guys fishing a three eighth and even a half ounce head in their plastics. What that does is it gives them a good bit of weight for a pinpoint accurate cast, especially if it's blowing and it allows them to start the retrieve as soon as the plastic hits the water and they've got that rod tip up a bit and they've got that plastic moving nice and quick. They're looking for the reaction bite from those jacks. So those jacks are holding under the pontoon. They see it, they don't have time to think, reaction bite, boom, I'm gonna smash that plastic. So you will sometimes see those guys when they're fishing that pontoon type structure, fishing a heavier head and running it along that edge of that pontoon. All right. So we've got our 1 8 quarter, 3 8 half pretty much covers most of our bases for jack fishing. But we're going to come across some snags because find the structure, find the fish is definitely the way to go in terms of jacks. Whether it be a rock bar, bridge pylons, fallen timber, any sort of structure that that jack can get in and they can ambush those bait fish and then head back into home again. So that's where our snake locks comes into play. So again, we can go a 1 8 a quarter, 3 8 half, depending on the environment that we're fishing. But that snake locks weedless jig head, fish hits it, clears the hook, fish on. And because of the soft, flexible nature of that Z-Man 10 times tough elastic plastic, we're set up for those bites, but we're also set up that that plastic will clear very easily because it's so soft and flexible. And that allows us to get that hook up rate still very good, even on those weedless heads. So again, with the snake locks, I'll go a 3.0 in the three inch plastic. And when I step up to a four inch plastic, I'll go a 4.0. So generally the guys are fishing a 4.0 in a four inch and a 3.0 in that three inch plastic again. Whether you're fishing weedless with the snake locks or whether you're fishing in more open water and along the edges of structure with that headlocks HD jig head. So there you go, that's our paddle tails. I'll show you a few other options that the guys use when they're targeting jack as well, and they're extremely effective. So there is another paddle tail, which has started to make a bit of a mark in the jack guys, and that's the three and a half inch trick swim. So it's a three and a half inch plastic, but it has a long thin tail shaft and a big underhook tail. So it gives it a crazy action. And the cool thing is it will have a lot of action even at a real slow speed on a light jig head. So you can get it down there and fish it nice and slow when the bite is a bit tougher. So that's the three and a half inch trick swims. If you're in a system where there's a lot of prawns, then it's worth checking out the three and a half inch easy shrimps. So that's a prawn or shrimp imitation and a lot of movement in there with its segmented tail, realistic looking sort of profile. And it rigs really well on a 3.0 headlocks HD jig head. Or again, you can rig it weedless if you want to get right in amongst that structure on a 3.0 snake locks or chin locks SWS jig head. So that's one for when the prawns are in the river. You know, sometimes you'll make, be making a few casts and you see prawns flicking or you can see the prawns in the water. If there's lots of prawns around, definitely worth a go. The barra love it, cod love it, trevally love it, and that sort of thing as well. But definitely effective on, on jacks in structure. And there's some really good colors in there. A Couple of popular ones, Laguna shrimp and greasy prawn, but gold flake. There's a bunch of options there that you can run in those. Surface bite for jacks. This little guy has pretty much just exploded on the mangrove jack scene, especially up north, you know. We had a big, a bigger frog, a four inch hard leg frogs, and there's still guys that fish that four inch hard leg frogs, but this is the 2.75 inch finesse version of that frog, and it is a perfect little bite size frog for mangrove jack, good for bass, good for cod, good for other species, but a jack will just annihilate that thing off the surface. So if you get an early morning or late arvo bite, I've seen jacks eat these right through the day, but really good if you've got heavy cover and you wanna fish over or, or through or around that really, really heavy structure. And that's 2.75 inch, so it's a real little bite size. Uh, jig head wise, a 1 12th in a 2 
chin locks SWS, so snagless weight system with that weight on the belly. The weight on the belly gives you a bit more casting distance and also helps to keel the plastic. And when you get that plastic going, you'll, you'll hear those feet going blah, 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 blah. Once you get that bubbling right, perfect, and then bang, Jack will smash that off the surface. So that's another good option. That's the 2.75 inch finesse frogs. And again, it's not bad to have a few different colors. So maybe a white, a watermelon chartreuse, which is that color there, and then also a green pumpkin is good. And again, it gives you that bright water, clear day, maybe go the white. If it's dirtier water, or it's an overcast day, you might go that darker, that darker sort of color in the green pumpkin. So that's another effective one. And just one little secret squirrel one that worked well for me on a recent trip up north. Um, we got a lot of jacks fishing right in the drains, just the little drains that you see right on the end of the run out tide. And there's normally a bit of dirty water around the drains. There's little prawns and bait fish and that flicking in there. We actually fished that little tiny 2.75 inch slim swims rigged on a snake locks finesse jig head. And, and we used a 1 8 or a 1 6 in a size two hook so that we could fish that right in. If there, was a, if there was a log or structure laying in the mouth of the drain, it didn't really matter. We could fish over and around the log with that weedless presentation, but the jacks absolutely scoffed them. We also got some nice grunter and trevally and other things as well, but there you go. If you're finding fish hard to get because the bite's tougher or the bait's smaller, it's, it's worth checking out that little 2.5 inch Slim Swims rigged weedless as well. So there we go, there's a lot there. There's a lot there in terms of jack options, but if I could only have two to go fishing with, I would probably go a three inch minnows and if I've got to choose color, I'll go with a darker color in a three inch minnows maybe if it's, if, and a lighter color in probably a four inch slim swims. But let's just go a three inch minnows and a four inch swimmers. Sorry, not slim swims. So three inch minnows would be my go-to and it appeals to a lot of different species and jacks of all sizes as well as a stack of other things. And then that four inch swimmers, that four inch swimmers has just been proven over and over and over again as a jack slayer. And it's also great to run on a light head with a dead slow presentation, or you can fish that bigger head, but still keep it up in the water column and buzz it a bit quicker with that big flat tail. So if you wanna go and catch a jack this summer, three inch minnows, four inch swimmers, grab yourself headlocks HD jig heads in a 3040, snake locks jig heads in a 30 and 40 to suit the environment that you're fishing, be it a light one eighth for shallow water and fishing higher in the water column, or whether it's those heavier heads for fishing deeper structure and also the, that pontoon fishing as well. So there you go. I hope that helps you catch your first jack or a few more jack, but uh, I'm sure it'll help you probably lose a few to some epic bust-offs as well. So enjoy the bust-offs as much as catching those big red dogs and all the best with the fishing.